we on the verge of a breakthrough in quantum technology? Just a few months ago, it was announced that it would take several more years of development before the first quantum computers would be capable of performing everyday tasks. Now, Google has surprised the public with the stroke of genius that is the Willow chip. The new quantum chip solved a complex problem in under five minutes, something that would have taken a normal computer 10 septillion years. What do these new dimensions in computer technology mean for the future of our civilization? With the Willow chip, Google will make the impossible possible. That much has already been revealed in the internet giant's initial announcements. Google has indeed surprised experts by achieving initial computing performance much faster than predicted. Let's imagine we give a computer a task that even the most powerful supercomputer in the world couldn't complete in the lifetime of the universe. We're talking about 10 septillion years. That's a number with 25 zeros. Now let's imagine a small chip completing this task in less than five minutes. Does that sound like science fiction to you? Well, I'm here to tell you that it's now a reality. That's exactly what Google's new quantum chip, Willow, has achieved, proving that the technology is much more advanced than we thought. The age in which quantum chips will take over from classic computers is definitely here. The development is being celebrated enthusiastically by many, but some are also afraid of the new possibilities. Quantum computers can advance our civilization enormously and possibly solve our biggest problems. But they can also be dangerous if they end up in the hands of terrorists or otherwise misused against people. Will Willow take us to the top of the world? Should we be afraid of Google? The chip with which Google now wants to clean up the field of quantum chip providers has the charming code name Willow. The small component works with 105 qubits, which are the quantum mechanical equivalents of the bits used in our normal computers. Qubits do not use the classical systems of ones and zeros. A qubit can simultaneously occupy the states zero and one through the phenomenon of superposition. So it is not either one or the other, but both at the same time. And as if that weren't crazy enough, there's also entanglement. Two qubits can be connected in such a way that the states of one immediately affects the state of the other, no matter how far apart they are. Einstein once referred to this effect of quantum physics, somewhat annoyed as spooky action at a distance. The great mathematical genius is said to have hated quantum physics precisely because of these ghostly reasons. Today, he would probably be thrilled if he knew what kind of computing power astrophysicists hope to achieve with the new machines. Superposition and entanglement enable quantum computers to pursue an incredible number of calculation paths in parallel. While classical computers work their way through a task step by step, a quantum chip enters all paths simultaneously. It's similar to having to search through a gigantic library book by book to find a piece of information, but instead you could read all the shelves at once. And that was precisely the key to the so-called random distribution benchmark, an abstract but highly complex task that involves calculating the probability distributions of certain outcomes from an enormous number of possible combinations. For classical systems, this is a nightmare. For Willow, it's a walk in the park. What does this mean for us? Willow is not yet being promoted as an explicit solution to all problems, but the calculation shows where the journey is headed. Medicine, materials research, climate simulations, artificial intelligence. Wherever classic computers have long since reached their limits, quantum computers could open up completely new doors in the future. Google's Willow chip is therefore much more than just a technical marvel. The new chip offers a glimpse into a future in which we no longer think and calculate linearly, but rather in terms of quantum logic. This will certainly also have an impact on how ordinary people think. Just think about how the internet has revolutionized our lives. Suddenly, people have access to all kinds of information, could communicate and connect with each other worldwide at low cost, 
and everyone had a unique opportunity to make themselves known to the world. For a few years now, artificial intelligence has been revolutionizing our everyday lives once again. We no longer have to scroll through search engine results. Instead, intelligent chats search for exactly the answers and information we need and provide us with the finished links and evidence. They create images of us, do our homework to the horror of teachers, and solve problems that we would never have entrusted to a machine 10 years ago. But what can quantum technology bring us here? Quantum computers between fantasy, superpower, and reality. Google's new Willow chip may not solve the world's problems just yet, but its development confirms that the future of computing is not digital, but quantum physical. Even though many of these machines are still working in high-security, high-tech laboratories under cooling hoods, one thing is certain. The quantum revolution has long since begun. And Google is not alone. IBM, Intel, Microsoft, and the Canadian company D-Wave are also working flat out on quantum computers. Insiders whisper that the startup Rigetti Computing will soon unveil a chip that can easily compete with Willow. And China's Academy of Sciences is working on China's quantum computers under the strictest secrecy. The Middle Kingdom is always good for a surprise when it comes to technology. And precisely because the Chinese are keeping their cards close to their chest, we may soon be able to expect the first practical quantum computer from Asia. At the moment, it's still unclear what the quantum computer of the future will look like. It's possible that there will be central computing machines. Just as internet servers are already in use today, or cloud systems offer shares of storage media or programs, central quantum computers could be used by an infinite number of users worldwide in a sharing system. This would mean that you might have a user device similar to a notebook or tablet, with which you could log into a highly secure and cooled quantum computer. However, the machines, which are still very large today, may soon become smaller. The first computers of the 1950s and 60s were also giant machines, but by the 1980s, the parts had shrunk significantly, and by the 90s and 2000s, almost everyone had a computer and laptop at home. IBM, for example, has already unveiled impressive prototypes with its 127-qubit Eagle chip, which should soon be ready for everyday use. The successor chip, Osprey, is expected to have 433 qubits of computing power. And as if that weren't crazy enough, IBM is working on a 1,000 qubit processor. Microsoft is pursuing a particularly exciting approach with so-called topological qubits, which are supposed to be more robust against errors. And D-Wave already offers cloud access to quantum processors for specific optimization problems, albeit with limitations. Will quantum computers distort reality? How real are quantum computers actually? There are several answers and meanings to this question. The early use of this technology is more realistic than many believe, but it certainly won't be coming tomorrow or the day after tomorrow for users like you and me. Quantum computers are extremely sensitive. They require temperatures close to absolute zero, are susceptible to interference, and must be stabilized using highly complex error correction methods. Despite the progress that has been made, many of the current systems, including Willow, are still purely demonstrative computing machines. The real goal is nothing less than a computing technology that solves real-world problems that classical computers cannot handle. Imagine how quantum computers could calculate molecules and interactions in seconds in drug development. Once the technology is reliable, lengthy studies and trials on humans and animals could soon become a thing of the past. In the future, medical quantum computers could develop drugs tailored to individual patients, and corresponding production lines could dispense the pill on demand within hours. In materials research, new materials, superconductors, or storage devices could be developed. And the crazy thing is that the first quantum computers could calculate how engineers themselves could improve and stabilize them. Climate simulations could calculate current weather models so accurately that we would be able to understand developments weeks in advance. 
and long-term calculations would be more accurate with regard to major climate change, including its global impact. Thanks to quantum encryption, machines could make themselves so secure that they would remain unhackable for future hackers. All of this affects our reality. But the question of how real quantum computers are has another aspect. Can the machines attack or distort the quantum structure? Quantum computers use the laws of quantum mechanics, in particular superposition and entanglement, to perform calculations with incredible speed and efficiency. The qubits are generated and stabilized in quantum computer chips by special materials and physical effects. The potential then exists within a chip in the quantum structure that we also know as our reality. By their mere presence in a chip, they cannot initially manipulate the foundations of physical reality. Instead, they work within these laws. Let's assume that a futuristic quantum computer reaches a certain critical mass, a kind of singularity of quantum calculations. In this scenario, the machine could not only perform calculations, but also actively intervene in the fabric of reality. Perhaps it would discover a way to manipulate the probability waves of particles so that probabilities are rewritten. This would then be a kind of quantum reality hack. Imagine an artificial intelligence powered by an extremely powerful quantum computer could influence the outcome of events by adjusting probabilities. A die that is supposed to fall randomly could suddenly always show a desired number. Human decisions could be subtly influenced because the machine optimizes the probability distribution of thoughts and actions. In a dark interpretation, such technology could turn our reality into a calculated construct in which nothing is really random anymore. Quantum computers and the multiverse, computing between worlds? What if our universe is just one of an infinite number? A single story among countless alternatives in a cosmic library where every possible decision, every possible reality, is written in its own universe? This idea is not just the stuff of science fiction. It is a serious interpretation of quantum mechanics, advocated by physicists such as Hugh Everett and further developed by David Deutsch. The idea is also known as the many worlds interpretation, and it has astonishing consequences. According to this theory, every possible outcome of a quantum mechanical process actually occurs, but not in a single universe, rather distributed across many universes that all exist simultaneously. Schrodinger's cat is then neither alive nor dead, but alive and dead, albeit in different realities. Now comes the quantum leap. Quantum computers, such as Google's Willow, exploit precisely these quantum mechanical properties superposition and simultaneous states and entanglements in the form of cross-information connections. And that leads to a fascinating question. Do these machines really only compute within our universe? Or, as some speculate, do they also use the computing power of parallel realities? David Deutsch, a pioneer of quantum computing, said in an interview, if a quantum computer solves a problem that a classical computer cannot handle, that it must be using some form of parallel processing in other worlds. But what exactly does that mean? Of the many different solutions that a quantum computer pursues simultaneously, each could potentially exist in its own quantum reality. The Willow chip would then not only be a computing device, but an interface between worlds, a tool that draws information from the multiverse's computing space. The really crazy thing is that physics cannot rule out this interpretation according to the currently accepted laws of quantum physics. It's mathematically consistent and even experimentally verifiable. Subscribe to the channel now. The best videos are yet to come.